benefits that the very smallest things we do can impact our lives in huge ways. Did you know that constipation is one of the early signs of increased risk of colon cancer? Hi, I'm Tracy. I talk about all things digestion, fat loss, and wellness. If having a healthy body, natural weight loss is on your radar, welcome. Today, I wanted to share with you one mind-blowing thing we should all be doing to get rid of constipation and lessen our chances of having a colon cancer diagnosis. Many people are walking around constipated and they're not even aware that they're constipated. If you are one of those people who are not real sure what constipation looks like, it should just slide right out and then watch this video. It breaks down all the many causes and signs of constipation. A sure sign of constipation is not pooping or going number two every day or having a difficult time passing stool, straining. You know that strain. We've all experienced it from time to time. Do you know the impact 51 seconds has over 114 seconds? That is the average time it takes for stool to pass out of an average unconstipated person. Not that we are sitting in the bathroom with a stopwatch, but when you go, are you able to whoosh out your number two between 51 seconds to 114 seconds? That is the recommended amount of time it should take us to eliminate the waste. I want to show you how to increase and get good speed time. Come here. Brace yourself for this mind-blowing discovery. No-go or slow-going evacuation is due to not sitting correctly. Not sitting correctly. I bet you did not know there was a right way and a wrong way to go to the toilet. Let's flush this out. And as a bonus, I am going to share with you two additional boosters we can do to get us closer and even maybe beat that 51 second time release. As mentioned before, our colons look like a long coiled up rope. We need to position ourselves on the john, the loo, the toilet. We need to sit in a way that allows our colon to relax, unravel, and straighten themselves out. Bear with me here with my visuals. Our colons look like this rope sort of twisted and turned much longer than this and the obstacle course that it goes through is a little bit more detailed than this. But imagine this is your colon. You have food. Most of us have ill-chewed food because we chew mm, 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 like this and then we swallow. You have huge chunks of food. Your food needs to pass through the inside of this tube. Ha ha! When we sit properly and the kinks are smoothed out and food is chewed properly to a liquid consistency, smooth flowing on Highway 66. In order to achieve poop, we want to position our bodies in the natural way we were intended to eliminate waste. You know, before the invention of the toilet, especially the new toilets that they have out where you go to sit down and, oh, it's right there. You do not even get to sit completely down and you're already on the toilet. I know it's convenient for the elderly or for those who are just having a difficult time getting down low into that squat position, but that squat position is very important when it comes to eliminating, avoiding constipation. Time to take it to the bathroom. When seated, it is best if we sit with our feet slightly elevated where our knees are above our hips, just slightly. This is easily done using a step stool. I personally like to use the squatty potty. It's a stool that is designed to wrap around the base of the toilet for easy storage. You do not need to continue to look for it, pull it out. It's there all the time whenever you need to go. They have them in various colors that coordinate well with your bathroom design and decor. The design of the squatty potty allows us to sit with our legs hip distance apart and we can easily get that 
height and elevation that we need in our knees. The base is very comfortable and it allows us to plant our entire foot on the stool with our shoes on or with it off. When using a standard stool, sometimes it can be difficult to achieve because those stools are usually shorter. Once you place your feet on the stool, then you want to lean slightly forward like this. Keep a nice straight back. This is the most natural way for us to go number two and evacuate all of it because sometimes it just doesn't all come out. When it doesn't all come out, hang on, I have something for that. Tell me if you have heard of using a stool or squatty potty in order to help you better eliminate. Tell me that in the comment section below. Type down there, yes, Tracy, I've heard about the squatty potty or a, using a stool. Or yes, girl, I already got a stool. I'm propping my feet up. Yes, tell me down in the comment section. Now we've eliminated, some things have moved out, yet we feel as if the process did not quite feel complete. It feels like there's still some up in there. Here's what we can do. Remember the massage before we get out of bed technique that I talked about? That is the same massage technique that we can use while we are sitting on the throne. Gently massage your stomach starting at the bottom. Work your way over to the right, across, and down the left. That massaging technique helps to move the gas out. It also serves the purpose of breaking up and breaking down any stagnant waste that we have sitting. That was the first bonus. Second bonus, while sitting on the toilet, with your foot on a stool, leaning slightly forward, massaging your belly, you want to breathe and do the humming technique that I talked about in the previous video, where you are either going uh, with the mouth open or mm, with the mouth closed. You need to make a slight sound. That vibration resonates throughout the entire body. It is important to make the sound. It does not need to be very loud and audible for the whole block to hear, but you do want to make the sound. Those three bathroom habits and eating to get rid of constipation will have us having the perfect poop, which looks like a long continuous log. You did know that, right? Should not be in chunks or sections. It should be one smooth log, which can come out in 51 to 114 seconds. This long continuous log is shuttling out excess. It is placing us well on the way to healthy fat loss and lessening our chances of having a colon cancer diagnosis. Tell me in the comment section below if you are currently sitting on the toilet or are you properly squatting? If you are not currently a squatter, let me know if you are willing to consider giving a squat a chance. Here are other great digestive related videos. Go watch, learn the benefits, the smallest little things that can improve our health. Always, I thank you for coming again and spending this time with me. You know that I appreciate it and I appreciate you. For those of you who are new, thank you for making the very best choice today of subscribing. Now, you will be informed when I come and share more great health tips. I'm going to wrap it up now. Let me know in the comment section below if you have heard of using a stool to help facilitate bathroom functions. If not, are you willing to give it a try? Until next week, stay well. Bye. The benefits that the very smallest things we do can impact our lives in huge ways. Happy to see you every single week. Ah, I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's jump right into how I use food to tighten my loose belly.